everyone, it's Lisa from Dane August Nails. Welcome back to my channel. Let's hop into the gel polish nail art. So I have already gone in with at least two coats of white gel polish. Any white gel polish you got, a coat of matte top coat. Again, any matte top coat you got. And I have mixed this very, very pale pink and I am going in for the outline of said flamingo. FYI, it's gonna look pretty crazy before it looks anything like a flamingo, okay? I need you to hang in there with me, buckle down. It's gonna get really weird before it looks anything like what I'm trying to do. So um, I'm using this detailed brush, same one I always use, and I love the way that brush strokes will create little definition in their own because if you look at it, there are concentrated amounts of the pink, like area where areas where it's darker, areas where it's lighter, there's like this weird negative space. So already off the bat, we are starting out with some really great definition here. So I will do a full cure of 60 seconds on here before I move on to uh, the next part of the flamingo, which is coming up right now. Yeah, so I am using Missy Gel Polish uh, series. This is number one in their Mocha series. And their Mocha series is just a bunch of nudes and browns, beautiful shades, okay? And I'm going in with the beak. FYI, I did this nail art all the way in like July, basically, which isn't really that far, but it's far considering that I generally will edit and put these things out. But I had so many pre-recorded videos and just got through all of them that I can now start putting out new stuff. So here you go. So this is the nail art we'll be recreating by Variha. I think that's how you say her name. I have not been able to find her on the gram or anywhere, but I did snag this picture from Pinterest. So I'm going in with another coat of that gel polish. And again, this brush is allowing for a lot of defini de definition, definition, and I'm not doing much to get it. I'm taking my dotting tool, regular white gel polish. I think it's the same I even put on here. I think this is all Missy gel polishes. Um, and I'm creating the eye. The eye is more of like a slanted, wonky oval. Okay, guys? So I want to get this eye out of the way and I'm going in again with the same brown and I'm going in with a bit of black, done. Eye is done, we just gotta outline that bad boy. And so now I'm adding other shades of pink just to sort of, you know, do a little bit more definition. I think this is model one's poppy love. I just wanna warn you guys right now, I am probably not going to create a product list for this. Reason why, as lazy, no, but other than that, um, you guys probably have all these colors or something similar to it. Um, so yeah, just grab what you got, make it work. Um, and probably because I've noticed that a lot of the stuff that I've been using for years are, are like discontinued, especially on the Model One's website. Like what is up with that? So I have cured that first layer of puppy love that we did. And now I'm going in to start really defining areas. Like I added in certain spots and then I faded out and then I cure as I go. This is one of those rare cases when I'm curing where I have to cure as I go because there's so much detail work. Um, I can't afford to have polish bleeding into itself. So I'm gonna start defining that eye area with this puppy love. And I'm gonna continue to add different shades of pink. So right now I'm coming in with Model One Solid Cream. I think this is number 17. And I'm going over, basically over that outline we did with Puppy Love. I'm trying to keep this as light because I don't want to lose the Puppy Love, but at the same time, this pink, this pink right here, mm, it deserves a little bit of attention. So we are going to put it out there, but feather it out so it's not too concentrated. And again, everywhere I put that Puppy Love, I'm gonna probably put the other darker shades of pink and flicker it in and out of certain areas. So now I'm coming in with the, the hot pink. This is Model 1's 8008. Um, and this is it. This is, this is my hot pink, you guys. And I'm creating little strokes, feathery type strokes. And I mean, it's coming together. Let me know, is it, cause I wanna know if right here, right now, at this point, is it giving what it's giving? Like, do you guys, are you, can you see a flamingo? Holler at your girl in the comments. Let me know, timestamp it. Let me know when was it looking like a flamingo for y'all? Cause it was a while for me. 
So I'm just taking a little bit of the white and I'm just flicking it in certain areas. Um, at this point I'm like, girl, this don't look nothing like what Vari, Vahar, Var, yeah, Vaha. Picture look like, this don't look nothing like it. But it's okay. So the beak, as you can see, is sort of lost because I did not position it right on the nail, but it's okay. This is, it can be interpreted however. At the very tip of Flamingo's beaks, they have black and it's like faded so beautifully because God is just a genius with creation. So beautifully that black is faded into that brown. And there's a little sort of notch on their nose, that, uh, on their beak that I think may be a nostril. I don't, I'm not entirely sure about the anatomy of the Flamingo. But I feel like he gotta breathe too, or she gotta breathe, you know, like. What's up, Flamingo? Like, let us know, like, what's, what was that? And I keep messing around with it. I keep flicking things off and on, just doing it. And now I'm creating just a few little, little black details with another detail brush. And I'm like, let's just add some feathers. Let's just do it. I don't even know if I was even looking at the picture at this point. Yes, I still was. Don't give yourself all that credit, Lisa. So now I'm outlining important parts of Flamingo. Ooh, that's her name, Flaminga. Ooh, I like it. It sounds very nice. Very nice. Shout out to my Spanish people. That is a very beautiful language. I am learning it. You are very expressive people. Thank you for allowing me to appreciate your culture by putting so much resources out there that I can learn how to speak the language. But we use a line in Flaminga. And we're giving her lashes. Do flamingos have lashes? Oh no. And it's coming together. It's coming together. I feel like you guys need to tell me when it came together for you guys, because this, this is the moment for me. This is the moment for me. And then just a little white dot or two to create like a sort of glare in the eyeball. And you know, flamingos looking really good. And I think this, this last white line was just a defining moment for her beak. And then I fully cure that and I set it aside. So these are also pride nails. And July 10th was actually our independence. So I'm coming in with Missy Gel Polish series. This is number, I feel like five or six. This is a very hype yellow. And I've created like little, it's, it's very abstract, I think. But essentially triangles. And I knew I got inspiration from this somewhere as well. But I can't quite, oh, ooh, from my nail tech. You guys know I had a nail technician? I'm gonna put her right up here somewhere. But she did something for a set for Independence Day on like one of our locals' nails, and I loved it. And I totally like took inspiration from her. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna send you guys to the Instagram page of the beautiful woman that inspired me. So um, that aquamarine color I mixed, um, it was a green and a green called, um, no, lavender violets type of a aqua already and a very light green for model ones. And then this is just Missy Gel Polish Series Black. And I'm taking this white also, I think it's model one solid cream in white and I'm defining those shades. Just, you know, cause hey, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't all that straight when I was doing these lines, you feel me? So this is how you get away, you know, you correct those little mistakes. So I cured each section as I went and now I'm also adding a little bit of detail per se, you know, overlapping those um, sections and adding a bit of white. And I think this is how I was able to tie in the white from the Flamingo. And also on the Flamingo nail, I needed to tie in the abstract art that I did on the other nails or else like it just don't make no sense. So here's what I did. I am adding that yellow, filling that bad boy in there, curing it, making sure we save some of the key features of the flamingo, for example, the beak. I was not having nothing overlap on that. And then boom, just like that, you can see where I fit in those colors and I'm adding the white detail. Everything is cured beautifully at this point, especially when solid cream is involved. I mean, if you can cure that for like two minutes, I am not gonna be mad at you, not at all. Um, as you can see, the flamingo has already been matte top coated, makes it easy to do this finishing nail art. And guys, this is how it all looks. 
So I am doing a healthy amount of top coat because I want to like sort of even that out. Um, those little ripples that my brush created, those little brush stroke ripples. So I'm going in with Gershon's top coat. I flip the nails upside down, level it off. So here is a video and picture of the finished look. Guys, if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Hit up those ladies that I mentioned in this video. Love you guys for watching. Love you guys so, so much for hanging in there with me. New subscribers, what's up? I love y'all too. Old subscribers. Yeah, buddy. See you guys in the next one. Bye.